seven and O on straight picks yesterday in the NBA on our player props and spreads for Monday. And now we're back on Tuesday, March 16th. Thank you guys so much for the support yesterday. Unreal day. The parlay of the day just misses as the Tampa Bay Lightning lose. Before the parlay even gets started, the rest of the legs hit. That's what we get for getting out of the NBA realm and going to hockey. But yeah, yesterday was an insane day. RJ Barrett, LeBron, Booker, Sabonis, Clippers minus one and a half, under in the Hornets, under in the Pistons. Unreal day. If we helped you guys out, let me know in the comments below. If you're feeling generous, my Cash App and Venmo both are at calling our shot. No spaces. Thank you guys so much, but a like and subscribe is just as valuable. Really appreciate everything that you guys have done. And we're going to move on into some player props and spreads in the NBA for Tuesday, March 16th. Thank you guys so much again for the support. Uh, two quick, quick notes. One, we have a Discord community. If you don't know what Discord is, it's just basically like an app where it's like a group chat and you can go in and talk sports. Well, ours is specifically about sports betting, not just for the NBA, but for NCAA basketball which Mar with March Madness coming back. As well as, you know, we have NHL, we have MLB, we have you name it, NFL, everything in there. Go check it out, over 100 members. Number two, we do our daily live stream. Normally it's at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I just come on for maybe 20, 30 minutes, answer your guys' betting questions, just giving me my thoughts and opinions. But today we will be at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's get into some picks for today. Yesterday's video, 1,000 1, views. Let's see if we can hit that again today. Plus, let's see if we can, can hit 100 likes. Never hit that goal before, but I think you guys can do it. Let's get into these picks, and we're going to start with the man, one of my favorite players in the NBA. I do want to keep in mind for these picks, today's slate is pretty weird, so do your research. Don't just plug and play my picks. Do your own research and see what you think, but these are the picks that I fell on, and we're going to start with our player props first, and we're going to start with Shea Gilgis Alexander, over 26 and a half points. You know, at the beginning of the year, I would have told you if you were betting over for Shea Gilgis Alexander, 26 and a half, I would have told you you've lost your mind. And that's because he never he never was like this, never was a scorer this crazy. But he's turned it around for the Thunder. And we'll get into the players. And you know what? Here, I'll give you the list of players that are potentially out and some that are out for the Thunder tonight. Al Horford out resting. Trevor Ariza out. George Hill out. Savi Mikhailuk, who they just traded for. Coach's decision not with the team yet. Probably out. Darius Baisley out. Theo Maladon, Josh Hall, and Lou Genstor. All game time decisions and questionable it's it, they might not even have enough players to play this game but Shea Gilgis Alexander will be out there playing a lot of minutes and you know he's been on fire recently 30 plus points in three straight games when you look at the Bulls team they aren't known for their defense especially not against guards I think Shea Gilgis can get this done SGA the man and I think he can hit this over 26 and a half he might even hit 30 plus you'll see in our parlay of the day plus we have our long shot parlay of the day You'll see he'll probably be back in there again. Same with another player, Zion Williamson. This line was 25 and a half points, which I thought was disrespectful. Up to 26 and a half, might even go up, but I don't know why the Vegas put the line so low. They were disrespecting him. Zion dropped 36 points the last time they played the Blazers, and they still don't have anyone interior that can even get close to defending him. Ennis Cantor's not a rim protector, and you need a rim protector if you're going to stop Zion Williamson. Robert Covington, not the worst, but he's he's just too small. Zion's a beast. He's been going crazy. Six of nine games, he's hit this over. The two two of those three games, he didn't hit it. He's still at 23 and 24 points. Plus, he didn't even play his normal minutes. Um, you know, those were two 30-point blowouts. On They were on the good end. I want to blow out, bad on another. Zion should easily be able to do it. We're riding with him again tonight. Let's move on to one player that hurt us a couple nights ago. And I understand if you don't want to do it. I'm back for more. And I'm ready to get hurt again. Mr. Ben Simmons, over 34 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. We were talking about it. Without Embiid, he was averaging 20 points, 8 rebounds, 7 assists. That's 35 combined uh, points, rebounds, and assists. And I look at the matchup against the Knicks. And I'm not necessarily scared about their defense. I mean, they are a good defensive team. But it's not like we're asking Simmons to go out there and drop 30 points to hit this over. We're asking for, you know, 15, 20 points. And he should be able to pile up the rebounds and assists just like James Harden did yesterday. No, 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 no. James Ben Simmons is not James Harden. I'm not saying that, but I do think he can hit this over pretty easily tonight against against the Knicks. He would have hit it the night we picked him a couple nights ago, but of course you saw the Spurs. The Spurs absolutely, I don't know what they did in the third quarter. They let the Sixers score on 22 of 23 possessions. Insane. I don't know what they're what they're doing, but I think we will take Simmons over 34 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. Moving on to some 
spreads and over unders that I like before we get into that parlay of the day. And we're going to go with the Heat minus 10 versus the Cavs. It's a big it's a big spread, but the Heat have kicked it into gear. And while it might be too late for the Jimmy Butler MVP train to really get get going, he's been playing out of this mind and they should be getting Bam out of bio back tonight. You look at the Heat winners of 10 of 11 games. You know, it's we take the large cover, it's a large spread for a reason. And when you look at the Cavaliers, they're terrible against the spread as road underdogs, which is what they find themselves at tonight. 5 and 13. Is that bad? Eh, it's it's not very good. So we're going to take the hot, no pun intended, Miami Heat. We're taking them. Heat minus 10. They'll also be featured in our parlay of the day. You'll see that in a second. Like I was just talking about with SGA, I'm taking the Bulls versus Thunder over. I watched the Thunder play super fast, not only against my Knicks, but whoever they played against the other night, I do not remember. But um, I believe the Grizzlies. Yeah, they played very well against the Grizzlies, shot the ball super well. And like I said, they're going to have a lot of their backups likely in. And normally backups mean a lot of fouling, a lot of free throws. And if you bet overs, free throws are your friend. Over 223.5. The Bulls have been playing pretty well offensively. They haven't been playing a whole lot of defense. That is kind of why I'm looking at Bulls over, well, Bulls Thunder over 223.5. You know, you're asking for a little bit of points, but I think SGA can get the Thunder up with some points. And then you got the Bulls, Zach Levine, their new starting lineup with Tomas Sadoransky and all of those guys. I think they can easily get it done. And then our final player, our final spread of the day. Drum roll, please. We're going to go Portland minus one versus the Pelicans. I know. We just saw the Pelicans, and they are arguably the best team, but only, only when they are the home underdog Pelicans. When you look at the home underdog Pelicans, who I believe are seven and two straight up, not just against the spread, seven and two straight up at home as underdogs. Well, unfortunately, they are not at home tonight. They are an underdog on the road where they struggle. You know, the Pelicans are 5-12 and 12 on the road this season, not to mention Portland is 11-7 and seven at home. They also are getting C.J. McCollum back. And just a part of me thinks that, you know, the Blazers are going to come out. They want to get C.J. a win in his return in the Moda Center. Portland's also 14-7 and seven, straight up as a favorite, and that's basically all we're asking for tonight. We're asking Portland to win. It's minus one, so you could take money line. That's fine. I was just doing minus one because they should easily be able to win this game. The Pelicans no longer in the bayou, no more. No longer home underdogs, and that is why we're going to ride with the Portland Trailblazers at home tonight to win and cover parlay of the day. I did not have, do not have the exact line because I don't have alt spreads for whatever reason for the Heat game. But I'm going to do Heat minus four and a half. So we're going to we're going to give back a couple points on the Heat, make it a little better. But I do think the Heat win. I just didn't do want, want to do Heat money line because that's like minus a thousand or something wild. Heat minus four and a half. Blazers minus one. And then Bulls Thunder over 223 and a half. Should be around plus 400-ish, something like that. Long shot parlay of the day before we get into a recap. SGA 30 plus points, plus 164. Zion 30 plus points, which is plus 180-ish. And then the Heat minus 14 and a half points. I think the Heat could win easily by 15, 20 points tonight. That should be around plus 1500. Long shot parlay of the day. Obviously don't put a full unit on it. That would be insane. But I think maybe we have a chance of hitting that. Um, as a recap, one, if you want to send us tips and donations, we always accept them, uh, calling our shot, Venmo, and Cash App. But here's our recap of the day, parlay of the day, Heat minus 4.5, Blazers minus 1, Bulls Thunder over 223.5. Then when our plays, we got, well, I guess we'll do long shot parlay of the day first. We got SGA 30 plus points, Zion 30 plus, and the Heat minus 14.5. Then Portland minus 1, the Heat, Bulls Thunder over 223.5. Then we got... The Heat minus 10, like we've already been talking about, hyping up the Heat. Shea Gilders Alexander over 26 and a half points. Zion over 26 and a half points. And Ben Simmons, who's probably going to combine for 10 points, rebounds, and assists. But we'll take it over 34 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. Can we go 6 and 0, 7 and 0 tonight? I do not know. But, you know, we're going to try it. We're, these are the best bets I could think of. Obviously, do your own research. Don't just tail them blindly. But thank you guys so much for the community we have built. A lot of subscribers yesterday, not a lot of new people. Like I said, thank you guys so much. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers, trying to hit it before my birthday, which is next Friday. So do your guys' worst. See if we can get there. Um, click that like button. Let's see if we can get up to 100 likes. But like I said, this has been Austin. I'll have my March Madness bracket coming out, I believe, later today. Maybe it's already up. If you, It might be the link at the end of the video. It is probably up already. 
But like I said, thank you guys so much for joining that Discord, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the live stream. Yesterday we had over 30 people in there chatting away. It's been good. It's been Austin. I'll catch you guys tomorrow and in the live stream later tonight. Peace out.